Yeah, my thought is I'm, you know, I'm extremely disappointed and, and uh, heartbroken for our players. Um, you know, we came here to win a championship and we, we came up short. Uh, credit to Oregon State. They deserve to win this game. They, they played better than we did tonight. Um, and we just weren't good enough. You know, we, we, we didn't make enough shots on offense and then, and then uh, we didn't rebound the ball the way we're capable and, and we needed to rebound the ball, especially defensively. Um, and uh, I just thought they were the tougher team tonight and, and they were a little bit more aggressive than we were, especially when the ball went up on the backboard. And, and uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen the film obviously, so I don't know. Uh, we were normally, you know, we're the best free throw shooting team in the country. And, and tonight we, we, uh, we came up short uh, in that department, but uh, you know, we couldn't buy a basket in the first half. We, we didn't have any threes. They had six. We're only down five. I felt good about where we were, but, you know, we couldn't sustain anything defensively tonight. And uh, uh, that was disappointing because we've, we've been pretty good on that end here recently, but it wasn't good enough tonight. And again, you have to credit Oregon State. Um, they played well, they played better than us tonight, and they deserve to win. We will start things with Pat Rooney. Hey coach, uh, you mentioned the defense, you know, um, particularly there in the first half. Um, what kind of breakdowns may be happening? Obviously, they uh, had a hot start from from three point range, and you had a hard time making up for that as the game went on. Yeah, Pat. I mean, look, our, our the, the the key uh, defensive uh, part of our game plan tonight was guard the three point line, and they had made twenty threes in two games. Uh, coming into tonight, they made nine tonight. So that's 29 threes in, 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 in three games. I mean, we knew that Kalu is a shooter. He hits three. He's not supposed to get three off. He makes three. I mean, you, you, can't, you can't do that, you know, at this time of year against good teams. They're going to make you pay. You know, Lucas is a, is a good three-point shooter. He, he, he gets seven off. You know, we – so we did not execute, you know, and I've complimented this team and this group of guys when they have executed the defensive game plan. Tonight we didn't, and it cost us the game because guarding the three-point line was the key. And, you know, it was a difference in the game. It's a two-point game. They get nine threes, we get six. You know, sometimes our threes go in, sometimes they don't. We had some good looks, but when, when Kalu gets the looks he had and Jared Lucas gets the looks he had, means we're not paying attention to the to the game plan and we're not executing the game plan and that was that was disappointing uh next up jake shapiro hey tad uh i know we've talked about this a lot over your years here but that free throw box out at the end of the game huh. that, yeah. th that's just got to drive you drive you crazy doesn't yeah it? yeah and it, and it turns into a lucas three that was i mean that was the play of the game without it i mean it's a four point game they missed the free throw. We can't get the rebound. Uh, you know, it's my pet peeve as a coach, uh, giving up offensive rebounds on, on, uh, on free throws. And, and it's amazing how uh, the basketball guys make you pay for that. And they made us pay. <laughs> so it goes from a four-point game to a seven-point game. And with that being said, we still scratched and clawed our way back in the game. But, you know, we just – we couldn't sustain anything. And that, you know, that play was a, a prime example. And it was the play of the game in my, 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 my mind. Back to Pat Rooney. Uh, hey, Tad, uh, you've talked about this um, throughout the stretch run here. This team's been, been pretty good at about bouncing back is that something you kind of kind of lean on uh as you get ready for for what's next next week yeah I guess so Pat you know it's like it's like two different seasons I mean you've got again there's four seasons in college basketball and and you're guaranteed three of them <laughs> you know you're guaranteed the preseason games you're guaranteed uh the conference play you're guaranteed a spot in the postseason tournament and but you're not guaranteed beyond that and this team has put themselves in a position to qualify for the NCAA tournament I'm confident that we'll be there um but yeah it's it's a whole new 
it's a whole new ball game. We're going to Indianapolis, and it's going to be a totally different um, uh, feel for what our players go through on a daily basis. And uh, we're going to have to adjust to that. And, and yeah, if, if uh, we can draw some motivation from this, but we, we got to get over the disappointment. And it's, it's real in that locker room. These guys, these guys really wanted this. And I, I thought sometimes we played tonight like we wanted it too much rather than just playing our game. And I just, you know, I know how much our players wanted this win, McKinley and Evan and Jariah and Dallas, all the seniors, Deshaun. But we just didn't play well enough when, 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 the, when the lights came on. And that's, that's disappointing because I know, I know we're better than what we played tonight. But Oregon State deserved to win, and they did. So we got to move on. And if we, can, if we can derive some motivation from it, we'll certainly try to. But it's a whole new, whole new ball game when we go to Indy. Uh, back to Jake Shapiro again. Hey, Tad. Uh, when you looked at uh, the uh, what you guys have been through the last two years with it getting stolen away from you last year and then this year, a heartbreaker tonight, has anyone learned more lessons in college basketball going to this tournament than you guys? I feel like you, know, you guys have a lot of things that you guys can lean on as you look towards next week and, and things you can go through if you fall into a tough time. We do, but you know, Jake, it's been tough on everybody. I mean, it's been tough on everybody. So like, we're not immune to, it's not, it hadn't been tougher on us than other, other P teams felt like the NCAA tournament was taken away from them last year. And it was, you know, um, other teams have been fighting through COVID and, and, and all the protocols and stuff and sacrificing. So we're not alone. So I'm not going to sit here and say, oh yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of our guys and how they've handled themselves uh, this season. And uh, I want it. Uh, bad for them because again I always say you know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be coaching here next year we got seven seniors that that may not be with us so um, you want to make the most of your opportunities and we let a, a, an opportunity slip by tonight to win a championship get a ring uh, cement our place in 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 Colorado basketball history but we let we let it uh, slip away and uh, we didn't take advantage of it so guess what we have another opportunity next week and we got to take the, take advantage of that. It's a new, new life, new tournament, new ball game, new season. We'll go last one for coach to Pat Rooney. Sorry. Um, Ted, I realize it was kind of desperation time at this point anyway, but when McKinley was on the line with 2.2 seconds left, um, you were down three. He made the first. Was he was he maybe supposed to miss the second and, and try to scramble for a rebound, or what, what was the situation there? It looked like it kind of bounced in anyway. Yeah, we we talked about he was trying to miss it, um, Pat. We, we asked him to shoot the ball as high as he could, you know, high arc on it, uh, try to get the rim. So to create a long rebound, we had Dallas and Jabari in the rebounding slots. And they, they, we had Deshaun and Maddox, two of our better shooters out on the perimeter. Uh, and, and we were supposed to try to miss it and have one of those guys tip it back to a shooter. And we could have won the game. Um, but it, you know, hit the, it hit the rim and bounced in. So, you know, that's just part of it. And then, and then we, we tried to, uh, we got the clock kind of got away from us. We, you know, we were not trying to foul Lucas uh, there uh, at the end uh, when when we put him on the line with 16 seconds to go because the shot clock was running down. We wanted to try to trap him and get the ball out of his hands and maybe foul somebody else, but we couldn't. We couldn't get a trap uh, to hold him, and uh, then we fouled him at half court with <laughs> low seconds on the shot clock. So that, that, that wasn't very smart, but again, those are the things that, you know, I, I talk about that you have to make smart, really smart plays down the stretch in this kind of game to give yourself a chance. But with that being said, we still had a look. I mean, it wasn't a great look with, with McKinley. It was kind of desperation, but um, yeah, it was tough, tough loss.